It's that time again. Got a brand new engine model. Let's go. This should be fun. Get all this situated. Yeah, let's go. Should be fun. I don't know what kind of engine this is though. Looks like a uh, JT8 almost like. Anyway, we'll put this together. It should be easy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Stig project. We're gonna build another engine courtesy of Engine DIY. Now, I assume this was some kind of a JT-8 model, but it's not. This thing is actually called a WS-15, and it's equipped on a Chinese stealth fighter called a J-20. It's an extremely fascinating design in regards to aerodynamics for this jet. Very cool looking thing. The propulsion system, the WS-15, is even cooler. By the way, this is just information that I'm gathering online. I don't know anything about this engine. It's supposed to be an afterburning turbofan, the capability of having exhaust vectoring, it has an axial flow compressor, much like any turbofan, an annual combustion chamber, and a capability of going, you know, afterburner. Because it is a fighter jet, after all. And once again, what I gather from online, maximum thrust capability is about 40,000 pounds of thrust. Here's a good question down for the comments for all you military aficionados. Tell me, do you think this thing stands a chance against the F-22 or the F-35 or maybe the F-14 or the F-15? Leave it down in the comments. I want to hear your opinion. I'm always very transparent with you on these things. This is how much it costs. This is actually a really nice, affordable model. The quality on a 3D build is excellent. It's a fun little project. You can do it with your friends, with your kids, with your family members. It's just a fun little toy. Also a great conversation piece when you got to sit on your desk. As always with all the engine DIY models, everything comes equipped, all the manuals, all the tooling, and all the hardware. This engine is super simple. It took me less than 15 minutes to put together. Majority of the complex components already come pre-assembled for you. On this one, you just kind of snap it together and secure it with a couple of fasteners. Not much else for me to add to this video, so I'm just gonna let you enjoy the rest of this. And yeah, by the way, uh, this thing does spin. You'll see that at the end of the video. And we're done. This literally took me 15 minutes to put together. That's how easy this was. Man, oh man. Oh, and I completely forgot. Yes, it does spin. There's the electrical connectors. It attaches to here. All you gotta do is turn it on. The battery's included. Not included in mine anyway. Let's go. Put that there. Ah, there it goes. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, I love it. The supervisor approves. <laughs> That's it guys, see you later. That's all folks, literally super easy, super fun. And here's a nice scale comparison on how small this thing is. And my supervisor approved. Thanks for watching, see you guys later.